Hey there magic one, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I hope you're having a really blessed week so far. I am currently working on the April monthly readings. I believe I have half of them done now. I'll pop the playlist up here for you and I'll be dropping the rest really soon as well. Uh, should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself, I'm always available for those. And that is the first link down below there for you to head across to my website and you can check out what I offer. Keep in mind that the doors are always open to the initiation. That is my immersive learn tarot journey. If you would like to learn my signature process for putting it all together and delivering a powerful reading. Uh, you can find me on social media. I am on Facebook and I'm also on Instagram. But use the link for Instagram down below because it is a fake account which, can you believe it, has more followers than me. So um, just to make sure you get the right one, if you use the one below, then you definitely, you definitely will. Uh, hit subscribe for me if you don't mind. Yes, that supports my channel. I think that's a great energy exchange between us and um, I will keep the, the readings coming from my heart, from my soul for you guys uh, in return. Uh, don't forget to like, share and comment. That's also a great support as well. Well, for now, I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Do take care. Bye for now. Gemini, welcome to your tarot reading for April 18th to the 24th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. I've got the nine card block here, Gemini. I have three for the recent past, three for your focus energy, three for your future outcome. I have some oracles, a lead tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. I am working with the Sacred Creator Oracle, the Moonology Oracle, the amazing and beautiful Moonchild and Starchild Tarot from Danielle Knoll, and the Radiant Rider Waite here. So I, I, I'm just loving this energy. Look, it's making me go into like these goosey bumps on my, my skin here, Gemini. Um, I just feel like you are ready to turn a corner and you're at some kind of, do you know what? It's, it's breakdown that leads to breakthrough kind of energy here. That is really what I'm feeling. It feels like new inspiration. It feels like turning a really positive corner and getting your life back on track here. So we will uh, get to that. I'm kind of feeling that around that Libra full moon, which was on the 17th, you might have made some really big declaration to yourself. Like this chapter of struggle and hardship is over, you know, positive vibes only, that kind of energy. Because the first um, oracle out is limitations inspire innovations. It's when we get to that breaking point, right? Like I have had enough of not having enough money of not having enough time, of not having my health, of not having opportunities, whatever it is for you, I feel like you've just gotten to the point of, you know what, I am just not going to, to stand for this in my life anymore. A real point of, well, it might be toxic people, toxic relationships. I feel like you have made this decision to bar that for good, okay? You are epic, the next card says, maybe because you are really tuning into your self-worth. Um, I just feel that you are about to kind of get some kind of inspiration for your life that's going to take you out of a hugely uh, long-term um, challenging or, or struggle cycle and into, into victory. I was already feeling that so strongly with the first card and then your moonology card says the end of a tough cycle approaches like okay yep that's backing it up and then double nine of wands and nine of wands is this energy of a long fought battle or struggle okay it's like you have endured this and you have most definitely had so much strength to to go through this the person um, in the Nine of Wands has kind of really hung in there in a situation, has fought hard, has gotten growth along the way, but has also got the battle scars to show for it, okay? So as I mentioned before, this is um, a general reading, so it could be manifesting in your life in different ways. I am definitely feeling into struggles with uh, money and, you know, in work for some of you, but that doesn't mean to say that this is not in your relationship sector or has been caused by that. So with the nine of wands, you are one 
wand away, which appears in your reading, the Ace of Wands, from closing out a very heavy, um, burdensome cycle or some kind of weight that you have traveled, um, weight that you've carried. <laughs> I don't know why I said traveled. Uh, you know, actually, uh, you know, being lifted off you. And I feel like you're going to get that inspiration. So I love that energy for you. Um, it could be that you're about to like maybe complete paying off a big debt or you get the plan in place for doing that. Um, maybe for some of you, you finally uh, get a, a great work opportunity that's going to give you the resources that you need to carry on. Some kind of answer or decision point is what I'm feeling. So let's jump in, Gemini, in the recent past, but timing's obviously fluid. This could be upon you now or still coming. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the King of Swords. So with the Ten of Pentacles, I'm feeling that the situation could have, um, like the, the full kind of struggle situation could have come about because of the ending of a job, a debt situation. Maybe, you, you know, you had additions to your family that put extra pressure on here as well. Um, that's what I'm feeling. It could have also been through the dissolving of a relationship or home, okay? There's been some kind of period of struggle around one of those situations that has put you through this period of hardship until now. We've got the Ace of Wands and the King of Swords. We have Aquarian energy also on the table. I have Libra with the Queen of Swords. Gemini, I have your card here with the Knight of Swords. I've got Pisces with the Moon. So, it's a lot about um, your air energy. It's a lot about uh, like thought processes, you know, inspiration. Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like with that King of Swords, the King of Swords being Aquarian energy, this could be some kind of really uh, left field idea that you get, which is just what you need. Or maybe you start looking in a different place for opportunity because with the Page of Cups at the center of the reading, this is an energy of unexpected um, surprise energy out of the blue and it could be because you shifted your perspective in some way or looked where you don't normally look engage with people that you don't normally engage with or something like that or maybe it's just a synchronicity I feel that you're going to get offered an ace of wands now this could be your own insight coming through your own idea your own inspired action or an offer that comes from somebody else but it seems to be just what you need to get yourself out of the struggle and transform your life in some way now it could be offered to you by a king of swords which would be an Aquarian or somebody who is in like a position of, of power or authority maybe in your life somebody who's in a leadership position or father father-in-law kind of figure boss mentor manager um, and I feel that whatever this Ace of Wands is, it's going to allow you to, to, to carry on in a new direction, okay? So I feel like there could be a communication coming, some kind of offer or opportunity. So in the Focus Energy, we've got Eight of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Queen of Swords. So this offer or opportunity is like the justice call for your life because Queen of Swords is Libra energy. Uh, Libra is the major arcana of justice. So it feels like it brings things back into balance. It brings the karmic scales from hardship into, you know, receiving again. Um, I feel that for many of you, this is in work career with the Eight of Pentacles or it will still um, require you to to put in some work, some energy to develop this in some way in order for it to be, you know, what is going to deliver for you financially or in terms of stability and security or your own place, whatever it is. So you're going to get that offer and the card saying, well, if you work at this, you can grow and expand it and you can really, you know, create a new future, a new reality for yourself. So with the Page of Cups, as I've mentioned, this could come through somebody who um, is somebody quite new in your life. This could be somebody who is really different from who you would normally cross paths with. Um, the actual idea or opportunity could be something quirky, creative, different. I mean, my story, you know, I've come from the um, like corporate kind of digital media industry and now I read tarot on YouTube um, and that is my passion and my business but 
you know, that was very left field and I did not see that coming in any way. So that, that could be something like that. Like you don't even know what's coming for you sometimes in life. It's that kind of energy. It has the ability to really transform things and have you moving in a positive new direction. Down here, we've got the moon, the knight of swords and the page of wands. Okay, so sometimes along the way, anxieties can emerge. The moon can be where our mental game sometimes slips a little bit. Um, in that context, I feel I really see you like fighting that off. Like, no, we're not going, we're not entertaining those thoughts. We're, we're not going back into the hardship. That's what I'm feeling. The moon can also be about things being revealed, truths being revealed, hidden blessings. So it really could say, well, this is the hidden blessing that's going to illuminate a new path forward for you. Okay, so I do like that energy. You may also be dealing with a Pisces. But as the last card in the spread, the beautiful Page of Wands is a card of good news. It is a potentially a good news offer or a good news communication, a good news verdict for some of you that has you explore new growth, new passion and new purpose in your life. Just when you thought everything had dried up, there was nothing coming your way and you were in a place of limitation, Gemini, some kind of innovation, some kind of opportunity is coming your way, some kind of communication that you go, oh yeah, I can kind of see where this is going. And the cards are saying, well, put the hard work in, put your time, effort and energy in and wait and see what happens and that things can grow and flourish here. Let's get another one for the outcome. So the end of a tough cycle approaches. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nine and six of pentacles. So six of pentacles is that classic energy of the, the scales coming to balance and receivership. It's it's interesting because in the um, Rider Waite version of the six of pentacles, we see this kind of idea of charity of like an emperor, you know, feeding these, these beggars. And it's almost like the two extremes. It's almost like you're crossing over. I'm not saying that you're going to be given charity, but it's like you get out of that mindset of feeling like you don't have enough. And the Nine of Pentacles is a very um, self-sufficient, independent energy. It talks about quality and luxury and most definitely having enough. These are more Pentacles energy, which is what I'm really feeling into money and, um, you know, real estate and, and, and finance and, and work and work opportunities. And it feels like even though you might be getting this opportunity from somebody else, it's going to give you the potential to be independent, work independently, or at least carve out your own directional own path. Um, this is also an entrepreneurial energy. This could be an opportunity for you to uh, add another income stream to, to what you do currently, um, or to set up some kind of side business as well. So I wish you all the best with it, whatever it is for you, Gemini, it seems to have great potential. Um, do keep in mind this is a general reading for the collective, it's not going to be everybody's message every time, but do drop me a comment if you're cool to share. I read them all, I do my best to interact with all of you over there, it helps me get to know you guys and connect with your energy. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, that helps me doing my purpose work here and it's a great energy exchange between us because it does support my channel as does when you like, share and comment. I'm wishing you uh, a week of love and magic, Gemini. Do take care. Bye for now.